This is a Buchla 218E. It's a touch activated voltage source. It is actually a capacitive keyboard. It means it responds to the ground capacitance of your body. Um, I'll show you. So it can be played simply almost like a like we play toddler or handheld. So you nearly need to touch it. There are no moving parts. And what it's doing is it's actually reading the your finger presence in the form of the ground of your body. Now you can use that to add an element um, known as pressure. Don was one of the first pers people to add pressure to keyboards and he was simply reading the capacitance of your finger. Um, uh, so the more surface area your finger has on the, on the key, the more virtual what might call pressure. It's similar to pressing your finger a little bit harder, sort of like when your finger presses against a window. There's more surface area the harder you press. Another way is to just roll your finger. So if you've programmed this to respond to pressure, you can get these kind of results. So we have this, um, this is kind of interesting. It's actually, if I press with my finger, similar to adding more ground to this finger is, if I touch other parts of the instrument which are grounded, like this little phone plug here, I'm grounding my body just a little bit more. Okay. Or if I touch this faceplate, which mostly is grounded. Uh, another way to actually get your fingers to be add a little more sensitivity is to actually wet your fingers. It's because your fingers themselves, uh, if the fingers are dry, dry skin acts as a dielectric and it, it's a it's fine normally, but uh, maybe it's a little too much of a dielectric if you have particularly dry hands. You can wet your fingers, and now you can tell. You get that sort of rough sound with a lot less effort than if than before. I believe one of these fingers might be, still be dry. See the difference between putting a wet finger on versus a dry finger? It has a different sound because I programmed it to respond to pressure. Well, it's sensing ground more easily um, with a wet finger because there's less of a sort of the dielectric of my fingers is a little, it's decreased. And also, you can actually play this if it didn't have a surface, but this has a surface on it, that uh, a coating on it, so you're not directly touching the surface of the board. First of all, we wouldn't want you to... Um, uh, to tarnish the silver of the keyboard. Uh, one reason it's covered. Another reason is it's actually effective. If you didn't touch that, this would be, uh, there would almost be no dielectric between your finger and this, and it would immediately jump to a very high pressure rating. And we want, we don't want that. So there's a little bit of a dielectric uh, in the coating of it. So you're not touching it directly. And air is a very uh, poor dielectric, so it's, it doesn't really work until you touch it. Um, and of course, with the 218, you know, you have arpeggiation.
ornament is high. So there you go. That is a 218 keyboard. Um, enjoy it if you have a chance to play it.